Um, the other part is, is that um, through a long realm of, of education, through our PLRGs, et cetera, being very familiar with quality theory, uh, I'm just absolutely convinced it works. Um, if you look at other industries, and Bob's going to go in this, into this a little bit further, they've, they've adopted this a long time ago. This is, this is old hat for them. It's very, very new uh, to medicine. Uh, those of you who will be going uh, to the AMJ meeting will have the pleasure of listening to Captain Sully Selinger, who uh, landed the plane on the Hudson River. And interestingly, um, I usually start this speech to kind of garner a little attention to explain the reason I'm here is to explain why air Airplanes rarely crash, and why our patients often do. Um, I get some strange looks, but on a routine basis, it happens. We see this day in and day out. Uh, this happens to be February of 2013. If you're not familiar, uh, commercial airlines in the U.S., we are now 48 straight months where they have not crashed. Um, so that's a pretty good record. How many of our patients in our offices and hospitals have crashed on a routine basis? And it keeps happening over and over. The statistics really bear that out. So um, it's, a, it's a passion of mine. It's a passion of this group to basically change that cost curve, increase the quality, and uh, likewise decrease the cost in doing it. So that's really kind of uh, the background of what we're actually trying to do here. So if we go through um, the, the beginning of this, if you look back to the first slide that Bob showed, that McGlynn slide, uh, that's dated very interestingly in 2003. Uh, it's the first time they actually went out and looked at physicians and said, you know, what are they doing from a process basis? And it showed we're not doing very well at all. And if you look at the very bottom where it says the conclusions, it says basically not following process in medical care is harmful to patients in the United States. It was a very direct statement. Um, and their data has you know, basically been shown to be very, very accurate. So guess what? That's basically when we started getting together, doing PLRGs, looking at uh, Six Sigma, looking at quality theory that's been used in other industries and said, you know what, let's do something different and let's begin to figure out how to do that um, with this group.